Okay, so we are finding LCDs that works great for our numbers, but what happens when we get some variables? We go. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's not bad. Just kidding. By the way, when you're looking for your LCD, are you considering the numerators? No. Does the numerators make a difference for the LCD? No. You don't even care. Just look at the denominators to find the LCD. So in our LCD, what we're going to do with this, we're going to look for the numbers first. We're going to find the LCD of the numbers. We're going to write that down. So let's look at 6 and 8. Give yourself about 10 seconds here. Don't say it out loud. Think, 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 think. 6 and 8, 6 and 8, 6 and 8. LCD is what? How much? 24. 24. Very good. Did you find 24 as well? Okay, so we're going to write down 24. So finding the LCD of numbers doesn't change. That sticks exactly the same. The variables are what I need you to, to worry about, okay? You have to get this part right. Here's how you find the LCD of any variables or any factors. What you do is you look for each type of factor, considering both denominators here, each type of factor, and you take the largest power that you can find of that particular factor. So for instance, notice how this is x times x times x. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. That means we have a factor of x. There's actually x times x times x. So x to the third power, we have that factor to the third power. Here we have x to the fifth power, right? They're not different variables. They, they're both x's. What you're going to do is you go, oh, OK, I have x's here. I've got x's here. Which one has the largest power that you can find of x? x to the fifth. That is your LCD right there in that case. It's not x to the eighth. You don't need to have both. Okay? You just need to have enough to cover both denominators. Does that make sense to you? You have enough to cover both. Five does it. Eight's too much. Five does it. x to the fifth would do it. You with me on this? Okay, so we'll go to the 24, no problem. We're going to take the largest power of each factor. So if you have x's, take the largest power of x that you can find. If you have y's, also take the largest power of y you can find. Here we don't have two different variables, we just have x's. So we're going to go, what's the largest power of x that we see? x to the fifth, that goes in our LCD. And here's how you can check it. Look at your LCD. Does it have at least a 6? Does it have the 6 in there? 6 divides it, sure. Does it have at least the 8? Uh, does it have at least x to the third? Sure. How about x to the fifth? That's perfect. That's all you need. You just need to be able to cover both denominators. So are you with me on this? Let's start making this a little bit better and a little bit better for us. Uh, let's, try, let's try a couple more. First one, first one. We have denominators of 3y and 15y to the third. The numerators here don't care, really. We're just looking for LCD. The first thing we're going to do is find the LCD of just the numbers. Look at that real quick. Tell me the LCD for my numbers. 15. Oh, that's awesome. 3 already goes into 15. So we keep it. Now, think carefully about this. I want you to find me the LCD considering now my variables. Don't say it out loud. Just think about it for about five seconds. Let everybody think LCD considering my variables. Remember, I only have two, I've only one unique type of factor. They're just y's. So I'm going to take what as my LCD there? The highest. Y to the, the third. not to the fourth, right? Not to the first, definitely. We need it to cover both. So we're going to take, we look for the y's. We go, oh, I have y's here and here. I'm going to take the largest power. That's, that's that one. Really, LCD is kind of easier than looking at, at other ones. Uh, I mean, you don't really have to do a whole lot of math. You're just looking for different factors. Just write them down. That's pretty much it. Uh, so here we'd say, does it cover the 3? Yeah. 15? Yeah. And does it have at least a y? Yes, it does. Does it have at least a y to the 3rd? Yeah. That's, and that's what we're looking for. How many people understand this idea? Okay, go ahead and give the last one for me. I'm going to erase this and write a couple other problems on the board. 
So we're looking for the largest power of each factor. For our numbers, what you get? 12. Great. There's not even another constant over here. For our variables, what'd you get? X. Okay. So in this case, our LCD is is this the denominator. Does that ever happen? Sure, it happened here, right? With 15 was our LCD for the numbers. It could happen if you just had numbers. So this covers everything for us. It has the 12. It has the x to the seventh. It also has more than x to the fourth. So that covers everything for us. You don't need it twice. You just need enough to cover it. Now, what happens when we start doing things like instead of just single terms like we've had? We start doing some rational expressions. First thing you're going to do, now the, all these steps might not be applicable to your particular problem, but here's the first step you're going to do. You see, when we're looking for LCD, what we're looking for are the largest powers of, I've been using this word a lot today, each common factor, right? Factor. Each common factor. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to factor the denominators. You've got to look for factors, right? It's got to be factored. Do I need to factor the numerators? That's a no, not really. Because when you think of addition, subtraction, remember what we just did on the board? you have to combine like terms anyway, right? That means you'd have to distribute all your factor and you'd have to undo it just to combine them. So unlike, I hope you're listening right now, unlike multiplication and division, where you factor everything and then just cross it out. With addition subtraction, we just initially factor the denominators. Then we're gonna combine everything and that's when we factor the numerators at the very end, okay? So you don't factor the numerators till the end of your problem here. Not your head if you're with me on that. Okay, so that's, that's kind of nice. We don't have to factor those. We just factor denominators. So first step, you're going to factor the denominators completely. Let's try that here. Look at my denominators on this problem. Do I need to factor those things? Mm, yes. I don't know. Can you factor 8 plus 5? Can Would you, you factor A minus 5? The negative 1 out of the A minus 5? The A is already positive. Oh. Okay, so yeah. that would be a good idea, but it's already positive. So no, that's, that's good, but we don't have to do that here. Do I need to factor those in any way? No. Okay, so in this step, we don't have to do that. No problem. Second step is you're going to look for common factors, not terms, factors. Look for factors. not terms. Look for factors here. Tell me something. Is A a factor or is A a term? Term. That's a term. Our factors here are A plus 5 and A minus 5. Those are our factors. <coughs> terms are the things separated by just subtraction. Factors are like the whole deal. Are you with me on this? So our factors are A plus 5 and A minus 5. What we do to find the LCD is after this, after you've factored, after you've identified your different terms, the LCD is very, very easy. All the LCD does is has you list the largest power of each factor. List the largest power of each factor. I'm going to make it a little more specific. List the largest power of each different factor. Another word for that is a unique factor. Each different or unique factor.
Okay, let's try it. Do I have any factors that are the same? Up there, a plus 5, a minus 5, any factors that are the same? Yeah, you shake your heads, no, no, I have terms that are the same. That doesn't count. Don't care about terms. I want factors. So what I'm going to do is look for the different factors. I'm just going to list them. Tell me one factor I have up here. Okay, that's got to be there. I have to have that factor. A plus 5 only to the first power is right there. What's the other factor here? I have to have that one also. That's also to the first power. So I've listed my factors. Does it have the A plus 5? Does it have the A minus 5? You know? That's, that's your LCD. It has to have every factor. And that's it. So once the, really the hard part is factoring. Once you have your factors down, you look for the distinct factors, the unique ones, the different ones. Take the largest power that you can find of each one, and you're done. on that for a second. I'll give you a few seconds. These go pretty quick. I mean, it's not like we have to do a whole lot of math work on this stuff. They go pretty quick. So let's just think on that one. See if you can find the LCD. Okay, LCD, we're looking for different factors. What's, tell me one factor in my denominators here that I need. A plus 2. I need an A plus 2. I heard that one first. Okay, definitely. Now my question is, does this A plus 2 already include this A as a factor? Yes. I see some people going yeah, I see some people going no. As a factor. No. Does it include it as a term? Yes. Is that good enough? No. No. If I divided this by A, would the A go away? Yeah. Really? No. You mean I can do this? No. Oh, no. Then it's not divisible by A, therefore A is not a factor of it. Do you see the difference? That's important. So I'll give you the A plus 2. My question is, is this A the same as this A? No. So I also need an A. Okay. Do you see the difference there? It's kind of an important one. So I also need the A. So we ask ourselves, and, and here, here's where you would, if you made a mistake, here's where you'd catch it. you go, oh, okay, does this have at least a factor of A plus 2, which means does A plus 2 divide this? Mm -hmm. yeah. That works. Does A, is, do we have at least an A, or in other words, does A divide this? Mm -hmm. Answer is <coughs> no, I just showed you that, right? You can't cross it out. That means it doesn't divide it. That means I'm missing that factor. You with me on that? It's an important one. A lot of people get caught up in that and go, oh, yeah, I've got, I'll get the A. That doesn't make sense. We also need A. Don't distribute this. Don't distribute that. Just leave it. You're done. That's your LCD, okay? So we, we don't ever distribute denominators, ever, because you're going to try to simplify them later, right? Why would you distribute it? Because you're just going to have to factor it later. You don't do that with denominators. Keep them exactly the same as they are. <coughs> 